Tech Rabbit here. Just like to give a few updates on um, things I found out and improvements I've made to the uh, drill press. Yeah. So the first thing is about the aligning the laser off and um, on, on my unit um, we're supposed to move this knob to adjust the laser on the actual um, this here which seems to tighten down on this was too tight so then when I turn this then it wasn't actually turning the laser so one needs to loosen this here and then adjust it and then I can like adjust both of them so bring this to be more tight and then fine adjust the laser so now it seems to be working okay now yeah, straightening out the base so um, what I did was I took some aluminium pipe well, pipe sort of rod with a hole in it cut a bit and um, put it into the chuck and then uh, what you can do is you can um, just like a piece of floor and one can set it in there and then it has a small straight angle and one can actually look at how how straight it is in the two dimensions or from yeah this direction on in this direction, right, left, back, front, or oh, I found that I can actually use this work piece and then we can just put it on top of it and do the same measurement like that. And we can drop it down into that area and then we can measure it against okay, this just to see if it's straight or not. And um, what I found is that this, when the table's straight, it's not exactly on the, on the zero setting. It's a little bit off. Um, not. And then I needed to um, put in a spacer here, so I stole from one of these angle measurement tools. I stole a flat, uh, flat piece of metal and I just put it under here. So and then it sort of lifted the vice up a bit so then it's um, more true so let's see if we can um, do another hole Make the assumption that the angle stayed approximately the same because I mean this is kind of smooth because now I could actually Quick 
I check? Zoom the camera in just to get a better picture of actual drilling. So, make the pilot hole first. here and this is um just measure it it's five millimeter aluminium and you have in one of the instructions this is in Swedish but you'll have it in your local language the the um gives you the type of um material and the thickness of the material and it tells you what speed it should be run so okay, it's basically it describes only one metal, which of course is confusing because metal you can have, you know, stainless steel, various uh, standard steel grades, or aluminium, or copper, or blah. So I don't know. I'm just gonna go with the idea that the, this generic metal, probably with this machine, it's a mostly mild steel or aluminium, anyways. So let's see, 5 millimeters, 1,100 revolutions per minute. And then you go, <coughs> go to the, um, the table for the belt settings. 
if you look up 1100 and it tells you how the um, belt should be connected. Um, bit of procedure here, so I do can choose the order one wants to do things. Ah, I, th I think we'll open up the cover even if the camera's in the wrong position to see anything. If you need to unscrew the side screw or untighten it, and then you can open it up. You don't need to actually don't need to unscrew. It. I will reposition the camera when I'm adjusting the belts. Anyway, that's so. Unplug, loosen the screw, open it up, and uh, and also it has a switch here, an electrical switch. So if this this cover is not um, not properly closed, then um, the switch won't work. You see that better when I move the. Um, well, okay. now here it has a locking screw for the motor, so we just loosen the up. And then here we have the bar to move the motor backwards and forwards, so we loosen the belt. And then, uh, just going to reposition the camera. So oh, that should be better. So here we have the. Um, place where the, sc the screw lands and then here it has this and then here's the switch so if the cover's not properly um, closed and fastened then, then the machine won't start and then I've already used the, um, the lever to um, pull the motor closer so now the belt's loose and we'll see what we have where we have to move so it says See, it's going to be hard for me to see how the camera is showing. Anyway, we take that one, so it should be C, and that will be from that to that. The belt down. fingers time in there. So that in there. So that's that. And then I suggest that we um we uh, pull up the lever. shot so the switch actually takes contact and then we tighten this up like that and then we can plug it in and we will do a test run just to see that it actually rotates right <laughs> we'll reposition the camera maybe will show quite yeah there you go put it down just a bit more so and then I so I test run 
seem to go okay. Now we're going to set it up for test drilling. So, let's see if we can do a test drill. <laughs> Seem to make a nice enough hole. Okay, let's have a little look at the depth. Depth gauge functional. It's not very good or accurate, I don't think so. Yeah, doubt that I'll use it, but it's still. So we have the same workpiece that we've been working on. Let's put that in place. And move it down to the, so the drill hits the workplace. And we can adjust the dial just a sec to like that. So we want to make it three millimeters deep. And we tighten that up like that. And then we can basically loosen it. Let's take this out as an example. I won't actually do the drilling. So now when you turn it, then it will start drilling in there. And then it will stop it there. Ah, I don't know. Plus minus one millimeter, I suppose. But anyway, that's the uh, last of all the uh, details. Of course, we have the emergency stop. But I, uh, I think that's quite, I don't know. Ah, write in the comments if you want me to demo that. That's a pretty standard operation. So anyway, if you like this video, uh, please um, consider subscribing. Uh, hit the bell button if you want to be notified. And um, I'll be following up with um, more videos. I have a few other tools that I've also um, purchased to add up to the... Um, Add on to the tool set I already have. Oh, well, see you in the next one.